Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In this video here, we're going to take a look at how we can bring our own agent when we're training computer vision models inside the Autolytics Hub. So we have previous videos where we covered the whole training pipeline, how you can take a data set, connect it to the Autolytics Hub, even how you can find and generate data sets by yourself. We can then just go in and use the Autolytics Hub, take an arbitrary model, connect the data set, and hit start training directly. But in this video here, if you want to train locally, I'm going to show you how you can do that. So we just connect to the Autolytics Hub, train our model locally, it will lock all the results, live metrics directly inside the hub as well. So you can see all the details, you can see how your model performs while it's training, but on your own hardware. But now we're going to show you how we can bring our own agent, train locally, and still use the Autolytics Hub to take care of everything for us. So if you go inside the Autolytics documentation, you can find the hub under the hub tab. If we then go down into the model, you can read about everything, like how you can take your data set, the different projects, models, you can use all the Autolytics models directly in there, connect them, train them directly. But here you can just read through the documentation if you want to go into details, but I'm just going to show you how to do it straight away. So you don't have to read, you just have to watch this video and you will know how to train a custom Yolvi 8 model by bringing your own agent. So right now we can take a look at the data set, then we also have the model. So if we just find an arbitrary data set in here, let's just go down and go for a detection data set. So here we have this wildlife data set from Autolytics as well. Now we just need to hit train model. We already have videos covering every single step, how you can take a data set, upload and so on. So definitely check those videos out. Right now I'm just going to click train model and we don't have to do anything, don't have to write any code at all, only a few clicks and we're training our own custom models. You can specify the project, the model name, if you want to have a custom model as well, if you have some previous ones that you want to fine tune even more or like bring your own models. But right now we also have the official ones from Yolvi 8. So we have the nano, small, medium, large, and extra large model, and also the Yolvi 5 models. We can see the overall accuracy and inference speed. We also have the advanced model configurations if you want to go in and set like the number epoch, if you want to use a pre trained model, image size, and so on. On. Just go with a default model here. Let's use a nano model. It hit continue, and now we're pretty much there. So we can both use the Autolytics Cloud, a Google Colab notebook, connect directly with the hub login, so that it's the exact same code as if you're bringing your own agent. It is just then you're using your own hardware instead of a Google Colab notebook. So right now, let's go inside, bring your own agent. These are the only steps that you need to do. So first of all, pip install Autolytics. You just open up a new terminal. There we go, we copy paste the command, pip install Autolytics. So right now it's just going to update it to the newest version. So make sure that you're always on the newest version. Then we kind of like have that, we need to open up a Python script, copy paste this code snippet, we have our hub login. So this is the key or token that we need to log into the hub so we can log all the information, it will store the model and so on in there, but you're training locally. Then we need to create an instance of our model, it's just going to pull this URL from the model registry inside the Autolytics hub. Then the only thing that we need to do is just call model.train. We will store the results here. You can extract the results inside your own Python script, but you can also see all the results being logged live inside the Autodesk Hub, play around with your model, the data sets and so on. This is just for training on your own hardware. So right now, let's just take this code snippet, open up a new Python script and let's run it. So I've just created a brand new Python script. I'm just going to paste in the code snippet. So from Autolytics, we're going to import YOLO, checks, and also hub. Then we have our hub login. You just need to take the code directly. It will take care of it. It even specifies the model directly, and that's pretty much it. Then we can go in, open a new terminal, just run the program directly in here, but I'm just going to open a new terminal, and I'm going to use Anaconda for that. So the command prompt, and there we go. Now we can just call this Python script and it will start the training of our model with the data set that we connected inside the Autolytics Hub as well. So let's just call this training.py. Now I'm going to run the program and then we're going to see the live metrics inside the hub. So first of all, it needs to connect to it. It's just running, doing some checks. If we go inside the Autolytics Hub, it's still waiting for a connection. We can see this circle here waiting for the connection. Once it is established, we can see that it is now connected. We can hit done. And now we're able to see our training in progress, do all the locking as if we're using a Google Colab notebook or using the training cloud training tool inside Autolytics Hub directly. If we just go back again, we can then see it's still doing some setup, loading in the data set, setting up the model, downloading the model and so on. It will take care of all of it for you. We just have to have these few lines of code and that's pretty much it. We don't need to customize anything ourselves. We can do that inside the Autolytics Hub and train on our own custom hardware. If you just go back again, we should start the training in just a second. Right now it's training for 100 epoch. You can always go in and see the charts, preview, once the model is done training and also deployed, but we have 
tons of videos covering all of that. So definitely check that out here on the channel. We can now see that the model has started training. We're just running this Python script. Let me just make this a bit larger. But right now we can see that it processes like 100 epochs. We're at epoch three right now. We have all the metrics, all the losses. We can see the GPU memory and also the mean average position. So already just from the first couple of epochs, we can see that the model act like learns a lot. So we go from 0.33 to around like point. Um, 82 here. So that's actually like a pretty large improvement in the mean error position in just a few epochs. So yeah, it's pretty much training now. We can go inside the Autolytics hub and be able to see the training in progress. So these values should be locking for every single epoch when you're training locally. And then it's just going to increase over time for the mean error positions. The losses should go down. You can see the overview of your data set. But this is how you can bring your own agent and train your own custom machine learning and computer vision models directly in the Autolytics hub. We also have all the other features. We have videos covering every single aspect and element of those. So definitely check them out. Out. I hope you learned a ton of this video here. Definitely go and test it out, check it out, connect different data sets, try to train some models on your own. And then I'll just see you guys in one of the upcoming videos. Until then, happy training.